getting over him. I got no rules, I count him. guys, it's Brie. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a chatty finish getting ready with me. I did film this eye look so I will link that video down below if you want to see it but this video is just me finishing up the rest of my makeup and just chit chatting. So, so make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe and if you want to see me finish getting ready just keep watching. Okay guys so today I'm just going to be doing the rest of my makeup. I thought I'd do a chatty get ready with me. So I'm going to start with the Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. I really like that spray. It's become one of my favorites. And I've used it every time I've gotten ready since I purchased it. So for primer, I'm going in with the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. So I just take one pump of that. I really like this primer because it feels very moisturizing in my skin. I swear every other day it's different. I'll be oily and then I'll be really dry. I was really dry at the beginning of the summer. I definitely don't feel as dry anymore. But it has a good tackiness to it. And I feel like it gives you a little bit of a glow. For foundation, I'm just going to go in with the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation and I'm going to use my Morphe M439 to buff that out. So today we went to Kindergarten Orientation, which is crazy. I don't even know how I have a kid in kindergarten. It's so crazy. It was so funny because Brody was acting like so shy when we got there and usually he's like, all about school he loves it he's like okay bye mom like doesn't even care that I'm leaving that's how he was for preschool so I was surprised he was asked he was acting all shy but his first day of school is tomorrow so I'm like really excited it's gonna be interesting though because he went from Monday through Thursday half days so he went to school for about three hours to Monday through Friday from about 8.30 till 3.30, which is a long day. And I know some places don't do all day Monday through Friday kindergarten. I think a lot of places do half days or half weeks, maybe full days, half weeks. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe sponge and just make sure that's all pressed in nicely. So all of these products, most of them are products that are newer that I've been testing out that I like a lot. I go very light on my forehead now because it almost always looks like crap. I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. To set the face, I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in Lace. Now I have creasy under eyes, so I like to set them right when I blend out my concealer. I really like this concealer. It goes a long way so you don't need as much. Like I put a little amount on compared to some of the other concealers I use. And then I take this Luxie 6 660 Precision Foundation Brush, which I do not use for foundation, but I love it for setting under my eyes. So Brody starts kindergarten tomorrow. Tay, my daughter, is two. She just turned two in June. And I don't know what she is going to do without Brody because they are like best friends. They play all day together. Brody went and stayed with my sister for a couple of days. She lives like four hours from here. And her daughter is Brody's like best friend, their cousins. His cousin is like his best friend. And it's so sweet, so we let him go stay with them. They're actually gonna be here on Thursday to come stay with us for a night or a couple nights. And I'm so excited to see them, but we let him go there. And while he was there, Tay like did not know what to do with herself. 
she would not leave me alone. She was like at my side for like four days in a row because he was gone. I have no idea what she's going to do while he's at school all day, every day, pretty much. And she's only two, so I can't start her in like preschool or anything like that yet. She's excited to go though. When we used to drop him off at preschool, she'd be like, school? And all his teachers would be like, would ask when she was coming to class. I'm like, well, she's only two, so not for another year. Which I know she would absolutely love going to school too. That's what's awesome. Brody loves school. He loves it so much. He loves seeing his friends. He loves, well, he loved his teachers in kindergarten or in preschool. He loved it. I met his teacher today and she seems really nice. So I'm hoping it'll be a good year for him. So I just take any excess powder that's left over and use that to set the rest of my face. So usually after I powder my face, I like to go in with a setting spray. So I'm using the Too Faced setting spray again. To let that all melt together. And on my forehead, I will go over that spray with my beauty blender, with my beauty sponge. Just really help set it all into place. Next, I'm gonna be going into the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. And I'm gonna take a mix of these two shades right here. I'm gonna use this Morphe R2, which is one of my favorite contour brushes. I really like this contour palette. I don't know why it took me so long to to jump on this, but I really like it. Yeah, I really like this contour palette. I think it's been awesome every single time I've used it since I bought it. Then I'm gonna take this Eco Tools Round Powder Brush and I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild bronzer in the shade Bikini Contest. I used to love these. I have not used them in a while. Okay, well that went on a little intense. I used to love these and I think they're like a $4 bronzer and you get a huge pan. And I remember loving them. This one's really dark. Maybe I should've went in with the lighter one. Let's take this powder brush and just dial that down a little bit. This bronzer almost has like a red tint to it like you were sunburned or something like you were on vacation and like you're like that red brown kind of is what it looks like I used to love these these were like my go-to bronzers and then I got the butter bronzer and then that one is just a no fail always works so I figured I would grab a different bronzer since I always use the same two but yeah I do like that bronzer then I'm going to go in to my Tarte Blush Bliss palette and I'm going to take Genuine, which is my favorite one in the palette. I'm going to take that contour palette again and I'm going to use the middle shade and contour my nose. So I don't really know what I'm going to do with myself while Brody's at school. It's so weird that you go from having them like 24 7 all the time and then when they start school it's just like they're gone for a majority of the time during the week it's like so weird it's weird to me and when he went to preschool it wasn't as strange because it was only three hours a day and I took him and picked him up and like they didn't even eat lunch there or anything but now he can eat lunch at school, he can eat breakfast at school. And then this is like for the rest, and for like the next 12 years, is he's gonna be in school and it's like weird. I think cause it's my first going to school, like my first kid going to school, I think that makes it a little weirder too. Cause you're just like, what? I don't know, it's 
super weird though because you do you just go from having them all the time and them like always being home and relying on you and and then one day they just start going to school and they're at school for eight hours of the day get home he's gonna be so tired you know eat dinner read do homework and then go to bed and then the next day just like go back to school I don't know it just seems weird so for highlighter I'm gonna go into the Milani stellar lights rose glow palette and pick up I think I'm gonna go for this middle shade which is golden quartz I'm gonna pick up this wet n wild holiday brush I do notice about this these highlighters is they do show up a little more texture on my cheek do you see that so what I like to do after I put them on is I will go over them with my damp sponge and it helps them melt it into the skin so that it doesn't look as textured because I love these highlighters I mean they're gorgeous look at that but do you see all that texture that it's highlighting but I will just go over that with my sponge. I don't know, do you see the difference that it makes? So then I'm gonna spray my face again with the Hangover 3-in-1 spray. Going in with the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Biscotti. Then I'm gonna pick up the highlighter that I used. I always do this and just tap it on the center. I'm gonna go finish up my eye makeup and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I finished up my eyes and this is the finished product. I really like how my face makeup turned out today. I think now with me, less is more on the foundation. So I've been trying to like tone it down and not use as much foundation as I used to use. And it seems to be working out pretty good for me, but all of these products are products that I have been testing out or that I really love. Some stuff I brought out, like the bronzer, I have not used in probably close to a year, but I still really liked it. And then there were a lot of new stuff that I've been testing out. I did film this eyeshadow look, so if you want to see that, I will link it down below. It is look number one in my 10 looks using one palette series. That is season five I'm starting. It is look number one using the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette. I'm excited to be highlighting that palette. Actually, I've only used it a couple times, so this is the perfect way for me to dig out palettes from my collection and force me to use them and to do as many looks as I possibly can using that palette. I really love doing that series. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe. I post three videos every week. Go ahead and leave me a comment down below with any products or looks you want me to try out or any video ideas that you guys want to see from me. I love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.